Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about an amazing website builder powered by AI called Hokus. They help you build business ready websites in minutes complete with useful text, design and images. Hokus AI helps you start making money from day one for your product or services where you can use an existing domain name and connect your Stripe or PayPal account immediately. I also like that they have a very clean pricing structure where you can get started for free with free web hosting and a Hokus URL or if you want to use your own domain name, custom email and a bunch of other features, you can sign up to their premium version which costs $15 per month or if you set it to yearly, it's going to be $150 a year which is a pretty good price. They are also the kind sponsors of this video and I'm very excited to show you how I would build my own website for my YouTube channel using Hokus. By the way, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you. I have some courses coming up and they are listed on my current website. Now this was not built using Hokus, I actually wrote the code for this. But if I were to use Hokus, the web design would be significantly better and I'm going to work on that eventually. But for now, you can go to this URL called testingai.net slash courses and sign up for my AI newsletter where the subscribers will be the first ones to know about any future courses. All right, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to log in with an existing Google account or create an account. I'm gonna log in with Google using my existing email. After you log in, you're gonna see a bunch of questions that Hokus wants to know from you to understand what kind of website you wanna build. The first one here says, what category best describes your website's purpose? So I actually wanna build a website for my YouTube channel and my AI and automation services. So I'm gonna say offer services. Then it asks, search to find the theme that matches your profession, passion, or hobby. And as you can see, there's a bunch of categories here like business and wellness, sport and fitness, business and finance, household, healthcare, creative, and other. I'm gonna go with business and finance. Now there's a bunch of categories you can look through. For example, for my website, it can be IT service company, or computer consulting agency, or IT consulting agency. And I think the last one applies best to me because I'm more of a consultant versus providing an application or a service at this time. So I'm gonna go with that and click continue. Now it says personalize your website by selecting the services you wish to offer. Now technically what I'm gonna do is more in the development category, but it's gonna be more in the no code area. So I think this one called technology solutions applies to me better. So I'm gonna click that and click continue. Now it says, tell us what you wanna do with the website. This will help us create the tools and pages you need. Now the AI kind of understands the direction I wanna go and it has already pre-selected two options here. It says get bookings and collect testimonials because ideally I would like to get some bookings and collect testimonials from them. But here I'm actually gonna select all of them because I will have some articles coming out and that will be a part of my blog. And I do wanna get some new customers who I will get bookings from and later collect testimonials from. Also, I'm working on some courses, so I'm gonna sell products as well. So as you see, you can select all the categories if you choose to. After that, I'm gonna click continue. It says, tell us where your business is physically based, like a store address or the area you service in. So I actually do have a business address, but my office is not gonna be there because I'm gonna service anybody all over the world. So I'm gonna say online business only. Next it says, so what do you want your business to be called? You can choose the name of your existing business, brand, blog, or create a new name for your website. I'm gonna go with testing AI. Next, it says select to highlight three unique aspects of your business and Hokus will generate more customized content based on your selection. Now the AI has understood what I want and actually has pre-selected two options. That is exceptional customer services and loyalty programs. So these are kind of values which your business stands for. Now let's look at some of them. It says friendly service. Now, why I do think I'm a friendly person, I don't think this applies to me. This would be something more of a storefront like business. Maybe you're selling tacos and you want a website for your taco truck and you would want to provide friendly service in person. Uh, affordable prices, 
I don't exactly think this should apply to me because I'm just one person and my prices are going to be slightly higher versus a company which has a lot of employees and can provide affordable service. Since I'm a one person company, I don't think this applies to me either. Another one here which applies to me is free consultation where I first do a small 15 minute interview with someone to see what their needs are to see if I'm a right fit. I don't really have loyalty programs because it's not a subscription based business. I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to say qualified and experienced staff because I do have over 10 years of experience in what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep the last one at exceptional customer services because that's the value I want to comply with. And then I'm going to click continue. All right, it says, how would you like your website visitors to contact you? And the options here are email, phone, and website contact form. And Hoku's has correctly understood that I would like to be contacted via a form because it's not exactly a restaurant style business where someone can call me and book a table, nor would I only want to be communicated via email because ideally when someone contacts me, they should provide enough information on what kind of service or requirements they have. And a website contact form is ideal for me to know all their needs. Then I'm going to click continue. All right, now based on the information that I provided, Hokus has already provided me a basic structure to work with. And it says example preview only, choose from more fonts and colors in our editor. Now, if you look on the right, it has provided me three different styles to work with and four different color palettes. It has also provided me some options of different fonts. Let me look at the second style. So this is more on a lighter color palette. Let's look at the third one. So this is a third style, but I actually don't like how the black and the background matches here. So I'm going to skip that one. I think I'm going to keep this second style because it looks pretty warm and welcoming. Let me try out some other fonts as well. I actually like the first one, but it kind of looks a bit bland to me. So I think I like this last one the most where the fonts have slightly more circular designs on the edges and it looks slightly more welcoming to me. And now all the basic setup is kind of done. So all you need to do is to click create my website and Hokus has started working on generating your websites that should be ready to use immediately. All right, the first version of your website is ready to go. Now there's a lot of customization options for you to work with. For example, I can select my own company logo using AI. When you click that, you can choose from a bunch of different styles. And with the free account, you can select up to one logo completely for free. I'm going to go with this one, which is black and white and click select and generate with AI. It says select a logo with the following variants. I'm going to go with this fourth one right here. Click select. Now we have a logo generated by AI, but if you don't like it, you can just click this button and that brings you to an editor. And now I can edit this image according to my needs. I can also choose my own images because I have my own logo that I have been working with for some time. So I'm going to click upload new media and I'm going to use this logo right here. All right, now I have my own logo that I had created before right here. Now, just like that, every single element of this page is now editable. Edit this section right here, add some information about your own company. Let me change this to testing AI and then say, I provide consulting services for AI and automation. I also provide sponsored content for my YouTube channel. Now, if you're not happy with your writing skills, you can click on that and use this thing called AI Writer. Now you can use that to rephrase that text or create some new text with AI. You also have some free credits available to use. So I'm gonna say create new text with AI and says, what are the main ideas or keywords? And I'm gonna say AI and automation consulting services also provide YouTube sponsored content. And after that, I'm going to say generate with AI. And as you see, Hokus is now using AI to generate some text for my website. I'm happy with the second one. And now I have my introductory section done right here. 
Now you can also add or remove any of these widgets that you see right here. When you click new widget, it has a bunch of options that you can use, starting from an about us page, subscribe, contact form, blog, booking, teams, partners, testimonials, music, social, career page, and resources. Let me add a contact form. And let me look at some of the options they have provided. So I don't really have any specific address, so I'm not gonna choose the one with a map. I think I like this one the most, so I'm gonna click that. And just like that, I have added a contact form right here. Now the website is actually functional just like this. You can also add a blog section where it says, tell us how many, if any, blog posts do you have ready to go? I'm gonna say none, I'm only getting started and click continue. It says, where would you like your sidebar on your blog? I'm gonna say with right sidebar and click continue. It says, choose a layout structure that best suits your blog. Let me look at a clean one. I don't like this one. This is a bit too cluttered. I think the first one is the cleanest. I'll click continue. And just like that, I have my blog ready to go. Now I don't have a lot of products yet, but if you choose to have a store, you can just click on this button on the left called store and, and it opens up an option to add your own store. Let me start with the first one, which is kind of clean and click continue. And it says create a product. I'm gonna click off this so you can look at how the store looks like. I think this is very professional looking. You can edit the details of all these products and add your own products right here. But hopefully you got an idea of how simple it is to add a blog, add a store, and change everything according to your needs. Now, if you wanna see what your website looks like, all you do is to click on this button called view website or use this URL right here. And now this website is already live as you did and I did the whole thing right in the middle of this video live. And if you wanna use a custom domain like I did here called testingai.net, all you need to do is to select any of the plans, either monthly or yearly, and then you can use your custom domain. Now, if you don't have a domain already, which you can connect using this button right here called connect existing domain, you can buy a domain right here instead of going to some other website if you choose to. Now that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you saw how easy it is to use Hoku's, especially if you're not a technical person. And if you wanna try this out, there is a link in the description section of this video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to click subscribe on my YouTube channel and click like on this video. And also go to my courses page where you can subscribe to my AI newsletters. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you for watching.